sour cream, raw food sour cream. Now I have never made it before, but it looked very intriguing and the caption said, tastes like the real thing. So we're going to see, <laughs> because we're gonna use this in the taco salad. So, to start out you need one cup of almonds. You're gonna put it in a high, split, a high speed blender and I like to use the Vitamix, okay? Shameless plug. Uh, one third cup of water. You're going to use um, onion powder, and I have just a little left, so we're just going to dump all of that in there. And then you're going to use a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, let me just double check that's a teaspoon. Oh, it's two teaspoons. <laughs> okay. All right. See, I've never made this before, so this one's not in my head. In fact, this recipe comes from a woman named Heather Pace. So, props to you, Miss Heather. All right. And then, oh, three tablespoons of lemon juice. Now, because I'm on day six of the Master Cleanse, I have lemon juice ready. And when you're coming off the cleanse and you make this taco salad, you'll have extra lemon juice, I'm sure, or at least lemons floating around in the kitchen. So we're going to do three tablespoons of lemon juice. Let me just make sure that's three. Yes, it is. Three tablespoons. This is freshly squeezed lemon. This is not reconstituted lemon juice. This is not um, store-bought lemon juice. This is fresh, live, full of enzymes, nutrients, and vitamins, lemon juice. All right? Okay. And then you want a little bit of salt. And um, the recipe says one fourth to three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, but I like the Himalayan sea salt and I buy it um, whole and then I just kind of grind it. So we're going to do a little bit of salt. All right. Okay. And there you have it. Let's see what happens. This is going to take a little bit. So, you know, just hold on. Continue to whip it. Make sure it's creamy and well whipped, all right? Now, I suggest you make this maybe the night before, only because when you whip something in a blender for that long, the time that it takes to get the cashews all smooth and creamy, it's going to heat up your product a little bit. So, oh yeah, this is nice and thick. Oh wow. Let's see if we have, oh yeah, it looks like everything is whipped. See, just checking to see if I feel any lumps. No. Okay, this is nice and creamy. But if you make it the day before, and I've never made this before, but if you make it the day before and then chill it, when you come home and make your raw food taco meat and your um, guacamole, this will already be cold or chilled and ready to go. Okay. Voila. So this is our sour cream. Do I need to uh, bring it up and give you guys a little, a little, um, check a little look see it's thick it has this consistency of sour cream it's nice and thick and um, we're going to put this in the refrigerator we're going to make our guacamole and then we'll be ready to go all right 
So next up is guacamole. I'll see you on the next video.